It's hard to fathom all of this was collected in North Central before noon. Equipped with pickup trucks and gloves, volunteers hauled the miscellaneous mix off streets and out of alleyways to give the community a facelift. Off to the next pile. Reg Holt has called North Central home for the last six years. He spent his Sunday collecting other residents' discarded items and trash littered throughout the community. I chose to come out here because it's just something I believe in the neighborhood. If I think if we if we keep it clean, it'll it'll stay cleaner. Um, on my fence, if I have one piece of graffiti, I'll have two or three pieces of graffiti right away. If I paint it right away, I'm good for six months a year. It's that sense of community pride that brought 130 volunteers out Sunday, the best turnout in the event's five-year history. We've got about 15 or 16 pickup trucks and trailers. Uh, we'll end up, I think last year, uh, we hauled out about 35 or 40 loris bins, these big bins. That's about 50 metric tons of garbage and four tons of recyclable metals. And all that garbage is hiding North Central's more positive qualities. And really, we have a lot to be proud of. We've got beautiful homes and we have character, you know, homes and, and big trees, mature trees, beautiful parks and green spaces. We've got so much to offer in this community. People really need to start to see it for what it is. You know, it's a community that's close to downtown, minutes from shopping and stores, performing arts center. We've got Taylor Field and Lawson. I mean, we've got a lot going for us here. It's not just about cleaning up an eyesore, but also boosting morale and ultimately residents' quality of life. Not to mention making the community more safe. The same reason everybody else does. You know, you... You want a safe place for everything, like nobody wants to have their kid come home and have four inches of nail stuck out of their foot and stuff like that. Hard work to unveil North Central's buried treasures. Terry Fikowski, Global News.